Hello, this is Marvin Byer at Marvel Ridge Farms. This is a partial where I fed hay last year. If you can see it's, uh, or this year, whatever you call it, between the, I think I started around January, February, March, somewhere in there till I was done feeding hay. Till I put them in another spot. I say probably January of 2023, I start feeding hay here. And you can tell that the grass is not coming up very well. A lot of ant hills, you can see. There's some hay residue here. I didn't put too much here. As you can tell, I say I probably put four or five round bales in this little area. I'm trying to make this more carbon. A lot of put a carbon here. But when I'm walking underneath, this really thick hay here it just kind of squish squish there's a lot of moisture you see a lot of little seed heads coming up too or a lot of seeds or plants coming up from the seeds probably from the hay i'm guessing i mean there is some bare spot because that's how it goes you know sometimes they eat a lot and sometimes they don't then when i fed less hay you can see it gets greener and greener there's more clover coming up so it looks good it takes a little bit slower you know because you're beating it down with the animals putting the carbon in so it takes longer to process this is kind of where i put my fruit trees i got some fruit trees along here pears and apples and cherries might be a plum or two trees this is where I fed a lot of my hay I'm not sure how many tons of hay I put in here but I can say it's tons because it was 19 big square bales or 3 by 3 by 8 then I put in uh, I don't know a lot of round bales too I so We'll see what all comes about here. And uh, I thought I was going to make it through here because I was feeding hay with the hay on this side. I was feeding hay on the other side of this little area of my apple trees and my fruit trees. I brought my truck up here with the trailer because I thought it was frozen. But all this hay kind of insulated the ground. And guess what? It was not frozen. Pretty wet and made a few hay ruts as you can tell. I mean that's mostly all hay move around, not really soil. But you know, I figure a little bit here and there make a little place to hold more water. I mean this is kind of moisture and you can you can pretty much feel like you're walking on the water. down definitely keeps the moisture in the ground too so we'll see what comes up there's a lot of small grasses coming up so which is a good thing and the animals didn't like the hair hay too much because it was it got rained on so that's why i put a lot of i fed them a lot of hay in this area because it got rained on and they didn't care for it so i was like well I never put hay on here before and to, you know feed the microbes so I in this area didn't grow hardly anything so we'll find out how much it helps compare to other places I mean you probably could put the animals on here maybe once twice to, at most a year and the other ones we probably put four or five six times so lots of hay feeding the soil microbes or, then uh this is another spot i fed some of those bales but not stick you can see the daylines coming up 
some thistles and some grass before you there was hardly anything growing in this either pretty much had a few day lines and most of the time it was just bare ground but you see there's some hay residue on here you can tell where it was thick in others because with the clovers coming up then across the fence is our lane and I fed or I had animals go through here a lot the past couple of years and it's starting to grow but, uh, over there is where I'm going to fence in this year I comes out. Well, everybody have a good day and talk to you guys later. Show you a video later. Bye.